Hey everyone, how's it going? Good evening. How are you guys doing? Are you doing good? Are you having a good night? I thought tonight I would talk about the days of the week. Yeah, why? Well, you know, we go right here, most people anyways, use the Gregorian calendar. It's not the accurate world calendar, but it's the one we use here. So I thought, why not go over what the days of the week actually are? So let's go through them. I'm going to first read the list of what they're named after, which are seven planets. And then after that, we'll talk about the color and the gods and what they say these are useful for. So the seven planets. First, we have Sunday, um, which is the sun. Then we have Monday, which is moon day. Then we have Tuesday, which is Mars. Wednesday is Mercury. Thursday, Jupiter. Friday, Venus. And Sunday is Saturn. Now that we got that, let's talk about a little more details of what the gods are. Or not what, but who the gods are. Or demigods. Sunday is said to be ruled by Lord Shiva. Yes, she's the one they say that'll make your dreams come true. Um, and that when you worship her, it's supposed to bring you good fortune, good luck, a desired job that you have, um, or a life partner. That's what she's known for. Um, now, the moon is actually the only planet that ebbs and flows more than any other planet. That makes sense, though, does it not? The water and the tides. Then you have Mars. Mars is Tuesday. So Mars is the god of war. Also a god of agriculture. Um, he's the guardian of, of energy, of action, which means that, and when, <laughs> I got tongue tied, which means that Wednesday is actually a really, really good day to get tasks like some stuff at your job or new goals or whatnot. It's a good day to get those started. Then we have Wednesday, and the god of Wednesday is Mercury, which is Hermes, the god of translations and interpreters. So he's able to break stuff down for you. Um, he's also supposed to be very clever, very intelligent. He was one of the Olympian gods, and he served as the messenger going between gods. Thursday is Jupiter. So Jupiter is the day of Thor. Yes, you remember him, right? The Norse god of thunder. He's known for his strength and protection. So this is the one that has the big hammer. Yeah, putting it down. <laughs> then we have Venus. Venus is Friday. Now, Friday takes its name from Frigga. Frigga was the goddess of love and transformation, and she rules the spiritual aspects of people as they manifest both the physical and the mental. Um, because of this, they say that Friday is a really unpredictable day, but it's a good day for aspects having to do with friendship, with love, with reconciliation, you know, I'm sorry. And it also has to do with beauty. Yeah. So that's a little bit about the days of the week so these days and planets actually have a color associated with them Monday is white Tuesday is red and it's Tuesday and I'm wearing red then we have Wednesday which is lime green yellow is for Thursday light yellow to be more precise Friday is blue or white Alice blue. I'm assuming that's like a white out blue. Um, and then Saturday is black or purple. And Sunday is pink or maroon. So just a little bit more to go with the planets and the days of the week. Um, next, let's go over some funny, not so funny. Let's call them dishonorable mentions. So there's two gods here I wanted to bring up 
shit one of them. The first one is a real shitty one that I want to talk about. Sterculus. Do you know who he is? Well, he's the god of the privy, the bathroom, the shitter, the pooper. Yeah, excrement. Caca doo doo. That's him. He was, uh. <laughs> so basically, this god was known for lots of really vile and disgusting acts. <laughs> that pretty much breaks it down. The doo doo toilet breaks it down with your log chopper. Anyway, so the next god is an ugly god. Now, I'm not saying he's ugly myself, but according to uh, history, there was Hephaestus, how do you say it? Hephaestus. Now, Hephaestus was the only ugly god um, who, so basically it says that he was the only, uh, he was the only ugly god among perfectly, damn, I just messed up my video, I gotta start again, shit. I do it. Yeah. Last god on that that I want to talk about is Hephaestus. Now, Hephaestus is supposed to be the ugliest god. Now, I'm not saying he's the ugliest god. I'm telling you this is what the books and so forth say. So let's just read about it. It says that he was the one and only ugly god among perfectly beautiful immortals. He was born deformed and was cast out of heaven by one or both of his parents when they noticed that he was imperfect. He was, this is the most messed up part of all. He was the workman of the immortals. He made their dwellings, their homes, their furnishings, and he even made their weapons. So in other words, he did all the hard work and then they said, fuck you, ugly, get out of here. That's some real bull, that's some real bullshit, kind of like the other god we talked about, right? So look, those are some of the, uh, gods that I thought we would talk about today just to give you a little bit more of a breakdown of what the days of the week are. Maybe in my next video I'll do a breakdown on the months of the year and what each one of those represents and the god and planets that go with that. But for now, hopefully you guys found this useful or if nothing else entertaining. <laughs> Take care.